Hey, what's up, guys? You're here with Gora from Pig Dogs, and you're here for your free picks for Friday, October 27th. Well, guys, after the Champions League and the Europa League on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, we are back to the National Leagues, and uh, we have some very, very big matchups this weekend, including that El Clasico Saturday. We have big Manchester Derby on Sunday. And of course, picks for that will come soon enough. But before that, we have uh, five nice games in the top five European football leagues on Friday. And I have free picks for each of those games here in this video. Uh, for more free picks, of course, go to the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. Check it out, guys. Subscribe, hit that like button. And of course, feel free to leave a comment on any of these videos. As far as my best bets goes, you can click the link in the description of this video. That will get you up to my page on the Pig Dogs website. And there you can sign up, get a daily pass, three-day pass, seven-day pass, or even a month-long pass if that's something you want. And probably those three days and seven-day passes will be some of your best value because uh, you will get covered all the way throughout the entire weekend uh, into the Champions League. Actually, there's no Champions League next week, but I believe we have some uh, some games as well over the entire week. So uh, that's a lot of free picks for one fixed price. Uh, as far as uh, this video, this picks uh, on Friday goes, let's get the show on the road, guys. Uh, we have Crystal Palace playing against Tottenham in the EPL on Friday, and uh, there's not a lot we have to say about Tottenham. We know that they are at the top of the table right now in the EPL, still undefeated this season. They are averaging over two scored goals per game, and uh, as a matter of fact, they are more effective on the road than they are at home this season with 12 scored goals in five games. <laughs> Defensively, they are conceding less than a goal on average per game this season, uh, and even if they concede a goal, they have a lot of offense to offer. They always seem to bounce back and... Uh, even though Crystal Palace is a very solid team, the team that uh, always puts up a nice fight against anyone, uh, they haven't been scoring a lot of goals this season, only seven goals in nine games. Sure, their defense has been quite solid. They have conceded only three goals at home this season, but they are missing a few key players. They have some injuries, they have some suspensions, so they definitely uh, will need to be at the top of their game to get a positive result out of uh, Tottenham here, but I honestly don't think they can do it. I, I think that Tottenham will get another win here. Uh, they have beaten Crystal Palace three times in a row now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take Tottenham one more time. I'm gonna take them on the money line. It's minus 130 right now. Uh, depends on your book, I guess. You might be getting a little bit of a better price, but I would even stretch this to Tottenham win it over one and a half, which should get, get you a nice plus money. In Spanish La Liga, we have Girona playing against Celta Vigo, and uh, I'm going to keep this one very, very simple, guys. I was thinking about taking Girona on the money line. It's minus 125 right now. But Celta Vigo is a horrible, horrible, horrible defensive team. They are conceding a ton of goals and Girona, oh my god, they have been lights out so far this season. They have scored 24 goals in 10 games. It's like I'm talking about Barcelona or Real Madrid here or somebody else, but uh, Girona is second place right now. They are conceding goals, they are conceding about a goal on average. But 24 score goals in 10 games for Girona, that's mighty impressive, I gotta say. So I'm gonna take Girona to win it over two and a half goals, plus 135. Even if Celta Vigo doesn't score a goal here, uh, Girona on their own can get us over two and a half line. And uh, I don't think they would even break a sweat. So uh, Girona to win and over two and a half goals at plus 135. Off to the German Bundesliga, we have Bochum, Bochum playing against Mainz, and uh, these two are the bottom two teams in the league, two of the worst offensive teams and two of the worst defensive teams as well. Bochum hasn't won any of their last 15 games, Mainz hasn't won any of their last 8 games. Uh, luckily for us, both of them have been scoring goals quite consistently, uh, but they have been conceding a lot more. So. I honestly don't see much defense between these two teams right now. And uh, I think that both teams kind of see this game potentially as uh, as a chance to get a win. And that means all-out offense. So both teams to score it over 2.5 plus 102. I'm actually quite surprised we are getting this price. Uh, just the over 2.5 at minus 125 is absolutely amazing as well. But... Uh, like I said, I don't think that either team has defense right now to stop anyone. Uh, and... Uh, each other included as well so I'm, I'm gonna take both teams to score an over two and a half in this one in in, in in this matchup in germany between bochum and mainz 
in the Italian Serie A, Genoa is playing against Salernitana, and uh, you know what, Genoa has been a lot better this season, and uh, even though they haven't won any of their last three games, so far at home this season, um, they have one win, one draw, and two losses, they've scored seven goals, and on top of that, Salernitana has not still uh, won a single game on their own this season, and uh, Genoa hasn't lost to Salernitana in their last five home games. Uh, Salernitana also hasn't won any of their last nine games, games and they're struggling a lot on both ends. Uh, they have scored only six goals so far, conceded 19 in those nine games. Uh, on the road, they are a lot worse than they are at home, so if I'm choosing a side, it would probably be Genoa. But I think that if anything is going to happen in this game, it's going to happen in the second half. So I'm going to take first half draw, plus 118. Uh, maybe try to put in a live bet somewhere around halftime to take Jello on the Monday night. But uh, as far as the first half goes, I think it's going to be a bit slow. And uh, I think it's going to end up in a draw. So Jello against the Levitana, first half draw. And the last pick of this video, guys, we have in the French League 1. We have Clermont playing against Nice. Uh, Clermont is actually coming off of a very nice performance against Lyon. They have beaten them 2-1 on the road. I also, I, I think that's more of a statement to uh, to Lyon and uh, their inability to do anything this season, to play, to defend, to score, to whatever you want to put it. Uh, Lyon is horrible at it. Uh, well, Clermont, uh, they still don't have a single win at home this season. But like I said, they're coming off of that win against Lyon and that could potentially be a nice confidence boost. As far as these goes, uh, they are in second place right now. They are having a great season. Uh, they are still undefeated, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, five wins and four draws. They're not scoring a lot of goals at all. Only 10 goals in nine games. But they have been the best defensive team in the league with only four conceded goals. Uh, I'm keeping this one simple, guys. Uh, I'm taking these on the money line. Minus 112 right now on the road. I think this is a price we have to take, even though Clermont is coming off of that very, very nice win on the road. Uh, and uh, they're definitely due for a win at home, but I think they will have to wait for another couple of weeks or so because I think that Nice will come out on top in this one, and uh, I honestly wouldn't expect a high-scoring game. So uh, uh, Clermont against Nice, I'm taking Nice on the money line at plus, uh, minus 112. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here once again. Uh, I hope you have a great Friday, guys. Good luck with all of your bets. Uh, stay tuned for more free picks. Of course, there will be a couple of parlays as well over the weekend. Uh, we have a busy weekend ahead, so stay tuned for those free picks, guys. Subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, I'll see you soon with more free winners.